Hey everybody, um, I was looking on YouTube to try to send, um, I have a contractor who does very basic uh, data entry, and she's kind of new to WordPress and she wanted to know how to change the font size. So I went on YouTube to try to send her a quick little tutorial and found that there really wasn't one that was very clear. So I just thought I'd make one real quick and just kind of shoot it out there. Most of you that are going to be using WordPress, just basic users, um, you want to change your font size. You want to make it bigger, smaller. Um, there's really only one way to do that in WordPress. Um, and I'm using WordPress 3.1. Um, there's only only one way to do that right now uh, without changing your style sheet. If you're trying to change it unanimously throughout your entire site, um, what you want to do is actually change your style sheet, and I'll go into that later. But at the beginning of this tutorial, I just want to show you the basic way WordPress wants you to change the font size. So what we'll do is that we're going to go to create a new post and I'm just doing that using the 3.1 headline there. All you need to do is we'll just type in here sample text and most of you are probably going to come to the site seeing something looking like this. You're not going to see that extra row of icons. To get that extra row of icons just click on this button on the end here. It's called the kitchen sink because it's just extra stuff that not everybody's going to use. Um, so to get it so that it's bigger size, WordPress wants you to uh, select right here where it says paragraph in the drop down go select a different heading size. So we have heading 1, 2, 3, all the way through 6. Select heading 1. You have a whole, a really big text, right? Well, if you're trying to change it throughout your entire site, you like, there's nothing here like you would see in Word where it says, oh, I want it to be size 18 font, or I want it to be um, size 26 or 72 or something crazy like that. So the only way that you can change it through unanimously throughout your site um, is to actually change your style sheet. So to do that, and this is more advanced, you're going to see a lot of code. It's really not that scary. Um, just when you see it, just kind of follow along and only change that one spot when you hit update and you'll be just fine. Um, all you do is you go to appearance over here on the left hand side and scroll down to where it says editor. It's going to tell us to leave the page. Yeah, we want to leave it. We're not saving the sample text. So all you do here is that you'll see Creation Depot style sheet. That's this, this is the blog for Creation Depot. Um, to change the, the font size of the paragraph tag throughout the entire site, um, and you can do this with any tag, but we'll just use the paragraph tag for this example. Um, what, what I'm talking about is, let me get to a post here and I can show you. We'll go to Leo's Pizza Napkins. Here we go. What I'm talking about is this text right here. This text is all in a paragraph tag. So the way that we want to change this is to, we want to make it bigger. That's, that'll be our thing. We'll make it just incredibly huge. We'll make it, you know, size 60 font. Um, and then what you want to do is, I'm impatient, so I use Control F. Um, I think Mac is uh, Apple F for, to get the find to come up here. I'm also using Chrome. You can use whatever browser you want to. Um, and then what I'll look here for is P, lowercase p, space, and then curly bracket the open right there and then it automatically comes up on my screen this is not the one you want what you actually want is the one that's got let me see if I can find it here I think it's content text area there it is okay you want pound sign content text area I'm sorry I misled you earlier about that paragraph tag um, and then right here you'll see the color mine's set to dark gray which is that 333 number the font size which is what we're going to change and then the line height line height just means when you've got a paragraph, like let's say you've got two lines, it's the distance um, top to bottom between those lines. So if you want them really far apart, you make that number really big. If you want them kind of close together, you make it, you know, 16. You make it really close to the font size number. So to change this, what we'll do is we'll go in here and we'll just say 60. We'll make it size 60 pixels. This is going to make it obnoxious, but it'll get the point home. Hit update file. Okay. And then we'll go back to our, our uh, Lido's Pizza Napkins hit refresh, which is F5, and you'll see it's obnoxiously big. So I'll go back and change this really quick, but just so you see what is actually changing, right? This is a headline up here, it says Miss Marketing Opportunity. That's headline one. This is paragraph tag. So when we go back into the post, let me change this back real quick. Size 16 pixels, update file. Okay, so when we go back into the post, let's see here. And just to show you that it actually changed back. See, so it goes back to the normal size. Go back into the post. We'll go back to add new. You'll see that it says paragraph tag here. So that's the correlation. What you're actually changing in the style sheet is the same thing. So I hope that helps you. Thanks. Bye.